I'm Shereen Newman and I've been a ship's doctor on The Investigator. When I was younger I always wanted to be a doctor, but even before that I knew I wanted to be a surgeon. There's certainly a vanishingly few women in the surgical fields. Going through the training is particularly intense, brutal even. <laughs> the hours you have to put in and the mental fatigue, the physical fatigue can be quite a difficult and challenging career to pick. While I was in the training program in Darwin, I decided that um, I hadn't had enough adventure in my life at that point. So I took a year off and went to Antarctica as a medical officer in one of the Antarctic stations. That experience was quite incredible. As a person to get the opportunity to go down to such a place that's so isolated and so untouched. And secondly, to be in such an environment where your role is so varied, you have to be the, you know, the doctor, the dentist, the physiotherapist, the mental health counsellor, and of course all the science roles as well. Um, it's a huge responsibility and of course one that I relished. While I was down there I decided to rethink my future and I realised that surgery wasn't going to provide as many opportunities or be as fulfilling as I thought it would be and I decided then and there that I was going to choose wilderness type medicine and make that my career. So thereafter I embarked on this career in, as a rural generalist and whilst gaining experience for that I had the opportunity to be a ship's doctor which was just the perfect uh, stepping stone into remote solo work. On the investigator the doctor has two areas, the first part is the consultation room and the second part is the treatment room. Being the doctor on the investigator I'm responsible for the healthcare of the crew and of course the science team. So this is the consultation room where I just sit and see patients. Um, patients' chair is bolted down for safety at sea. And here's a little seasickness grab bag that I had from the last time I was on the ship. I've got tablets, drugs, injections, gloves, everything you could need to really manage seasickness uh, in someone's cabin. The challenges in this role are having to be prepared for the worst case scenario with a trauma or a you know, drowning or some terrible uh, medical incident uh, versus your day-to-day -day availability in, in the clinic for just the usual you know, sort of aches and pains and uh, someone to chat to. And so at all times you have to be ready for the worst but um, you're really there as an insurance policy. So this is effectively a surgery bay. If I had to do a procedure, it would be in here. I've got everything I could possibly need. Um, obviously the operating table, the anaesthetic machine, um, and an x-ray reader and so on. Um, so I guess as a ship's doctor on board this uh, vessel, if I had to do any sort of procedure, I'll be doing everything. Putting the patient to sleep, doing the procedure, waking them up and then recovering them. I've been a ship's doctor on a number of other vessels and by far um, this particular expedition was top of the pops. The facilities on board are first class. Being around the science crew, seeing what they were doing, being involved in what they were doing. Going down south you've got you know fabulous vistas, icebergs popping up, whales and dolphins and the opportunity to go back to Antarctica, albeit not landing, but just being back in that environment was truly, was truly special.